Our next recipe is from Lori Johnston from one of my favorite communities in the state of Washington, Port Orchard. Wonderful little town. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the recipe, now, now listen to this, okay? It's Washington apple, onion, pork. Can't do it? Yes, we can. Okay. Lori, I think uh, it sounds fantastic. I think it does too. Where, where did the idea of this coming from? Because I, Actually, I don't think from, I would have thought of it. From watching a lot of TV, um, I was watching a show where they did um, an orange marmalade mm -hmm. with it, and I didn't have an orange marmalade. I had apple jelly and apple butter, so that's what I used and just changed sounds it. Perfect. And sounds better. So played this, with it. And so this is an original. Yeah, I can't leave a recipe alone. If I get <laughs> if I get one, I've got to do something to it to change it somehow because I, think a lot I of, play a lot with of my food. That way. So yeah. let's get started. What yeah, do let's do get first? Here. This is the easy part. You just take a pork loin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just put a little bit of salt. What kind of salt? That's just sea salt. Okay. And cover it. Yeah, a lot of pepper. Yeah, yeah pepper on pork wine is wonderful. We can just take that and put it into the oven at 350. Okay. For it takes the recipe takes about two and a half hours. All right. But it's half of it you can go watch a movie or whatever. You don't have to do a whole lot. Then that part is done. Oh. And you take two large Walla Walla onions about uh -huh. this size. I put them through the um, food processor mm -hmm. mm. on the slicer because otherwise I cry. Yeah, I, there's I, a good way to learn to not cry. Put a little vinegar on your board, you won't cry. Oh, yeah, but this is a lot. Yeah, this is a lot of <laughs> onion. It a takes little, about little two seconds. Yeah. Oh, a little more vinegar. A little more vinegar. So okay, then so here's you our have them all sauteed, mm -hmm. and then you take about a half a cup of butter. Mm -hmm. Melt the butter and then you saute your onions until they're about that consistency. So they're very soft, but they really right. haven't started to brown yet. No, just before they brown. Just a translucent type thing. Right? Yeah. yeah, and then we're going to take the garlic. Oh, we're going to smash it. Oh, yeah. Get the real uh, taste out. Yeah, and just slice it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. You can also just use the store-bought garlic if mm -hmm. you're in a hurry or you don't like to have garlic hanging around, which I don't understand, but we can do that. I don't know. I've always got a clove of garlic Me in, too. in the house. I mean, yeah. it, it lasts almost forever. I also understand. Somebody told me the other day that you can freeze it real easily. Really? I didn't know that. I didn't either because I tend to buy garlic and then it doesn't last real long or then I don't cook for a few weeks and then it starts to grow. Yeah, a little bit. But it does, it does freeze, they said. Oh, that's nice to know. So yeah, I liked that. Okay, so, so that's then, gonna go into yeah, our this onion goes into mixture. The onion. I'll just put that in there. Okay. And let that saute oh, for my. about another couple minutes. Whoops, okay. got that. Get that. <laughs> just a couple minutes. And then you take Two cups of, I do like to use also Washington wine. This is Good. a Riesling. Two cups of wine. And put that there so I don't knock it over here. This about is a going quarter to be cup of balsamic vinegar. Oh, nice. Oh, boy, we're getting some real taste in that, aren't we? Yeah, and then if you're lucky like I am, you have friends who make apple butter. Right. Oh, if, if you're yeah. not, you can buy it. But I'm lucky enough to have people who can make apple butter. So that's a quarter cup of apple butter. And if you don't have friends uh, who I'm make sorry, it's a apple cup and butter, half. you can go to the farmer's yes. market and get wonderful apple butter okay. there. Yes, or, or if you're desperate, markets. you can buy it at the grocery store. Right. Okay, and then this is a cup and a half half of apple jelly, which obviously someone also made for you. Yes, same same tree, same trees. Ooh, now you talk about a combination of taste, folks. Yeah, just we're wow. not quite done yet, though. Oh no! This is going to be amazing. We take about I'd like to get this the free pre-done ginger, and you mm -hmm. put about two tablespoons Ooh, nice. of ginger. And then you just let that, see how it's kind of soupy and real liquid? Right. Uh -huh. 
you want to, at this point, you're halfway done. You can go watch a movie. You can go read a book because it's going to simmer for about two hours. Okay. And it will reduce down to this. All right. And you want to get it to where, see where you pull this through? Mm-hmm. It doesn't, yeah. 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 It stays when separated. We do that here? Yeah. That doesn't happen. So it goes from that to that in about two and a half hours. And then wow. you take your cooked pork loin out of the oven. And I'm just going to pull this over. It is a biggie. Yep. And you take it out and let it rest for a few minutes. Oh my. Wow. This is this is, this is a good one if to do if people are coming folks, over. Don't have an appetite. This is a Sunday dinner pork oh. loin. Yes. Oh, fantastic. I would just soon have a few leftovers for Monday night's dinner too. Oh, I got to see that. Can you imagine this in, oh, in a sandwich, yeah. George? Huh? A sandwich you for Thanksgiving? You take everything yeah. and you put it in the crock pot with a little oh, bit yeah. of water. Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. And a uh, little bit of goat cheese on top. Oh, goat cheese, In a yum. panini maker. And you can just put that on and sear it. Okay. Can I use this? One? Sure. You don't have to sear it. I like to just because it gets that nice little caramelization and on the pork too. And it sounds so nice. That too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> if you have a grill, you can just take it outside and do it. Okay. You want to leave that on at about half, about a five. Okay. So it's simmering pretty good and it'll need to simmer for that whole two hours at right. about that. So you can do what I do, take the book out in the kitchen, sit out and read your book there. Yeah. yeah. Things go yeah. along, you're there. Every once in a while you get up and you go in and you stir it, but that's about it. Yeah, exactly. And about a minute on each side just to get that. To get the grill marks, just, the yeah. briad marks. Yeah. Just to sear. I think you might have them. You bet. Oh, look at that. Pretty man. nice. There we go. And do you want to put another couple in there? Sure. Those are um, pretty nice portions there of, mm -hmm. of uh, pork loin. Yeah, those are uh, probably a little thicker, but... I don't think yeah. anybody would turn it down, you understand? <laughs> Not so far. Well, I mean, Not I'll so bet. far. I'll bet. No. <laughs> I'll bet. Okay, so let's... Should we plate this up? Mm -hmm. And you put that on the plate, and then you just... Careful. Yep. And you just kind of, how about a spoon? Pour that over. Oh, it just pours real well. Got it? <laughs> Goes real well with garlic mashed potatoes, with. Um, oh, yes, yeah. that would be lovely. Yeah, and I like to do asparagus with it. Oh, that sounds wonderful. And like I said, the right next away. day you have there you go. put it all in the crock pot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need that back. Oh, you need that back? Mm -hmm. We're going to need to taste it. Oh, yeah, yes. we're going to need some. It's for yours. Not hot. Uh, that is hot, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. We would call that onion marmalade. Mm -hmm. It's what it looks like. Yes. All right. So. Time to test. Time to test. Time to Go. test. Go for it. Oh, I. This is a George size fork. No, oh, and that's a Carol size fork. <laughs> Here we go. She was trying to get me there, kids. She really was. <laughs> okay. Just a little. Piece there if you'd like that. Oh, thank you. Carol, okay. Go, go ahead. ahead, go ahead. Oh, you didn't get it. Yeah, I want a little bit of onion on there. onion on that. Oh, that's melting your mouth. Mm -hmm. This is really yummy. Oh my god. That is, oh. Mm. That is wonderful. Does that work? Yes. Mm. I, yes, I, this it, works. It, it's almost like having marmalade on your, your pork loin. It is, it's it, great, it's isn't just it? absolutely wonderful. You're not going to miss if you get this book. I'm here to tell you, this, this is probably the best show we've done because it's Northwest favorites. Yeah. We're from the Northwest, and we got some great food here, folks. 1-800-443-1999. You find out all about it. 
by getting the book and taking it out the kitchen and use it. And you'll use this recipe for sure. That's wonderful. Thank Sunday you dinner. so very much. This is Jean it. Roy. Thank you. Mm. Thanks. Oh, yeah.